All right, welcome back. So we're getting ready to hit continue here. I just noticed that I got two medals with this 14th Panzer 4G. I didn't even realize that. Let's go ahead and hit continue. <coughs> okay. So um, here's that decision I was telling you about. Your brilliant victories open a unique opportunity as the British are trying to regroup try to push forward and deliver a decisive blow, but it's a risky strategy. Will you spend some of your prestige to persuade high command to press on to ultimate Axis victory through Egypt, which is non-historical? Or will you play it safe and prepare to defend against the imminent British counterattack, the historical? So if I go L, I mean, that's where they're gonna, you know, basically we're just defending Britain and uh, invasion. So it'll start here, then it'll go to Operation Torch, and we're going to be playing defense. This is Panzer Corps 2. And then, um, yeah, so you can see that's the historical branch, but if I go to Egypt, it'll cost me a thousand prestige to take the fictional campaign branch. And of course, we're going to do Egypt. Why would we not? Thank goodness I had enough. You don't have to move, buddy. We're not going to watch a movie yet. So we're in a room where myself and both of my sons, we all you know, can play network games together. I want together. to take a moment and congratulate you on your successes in the African desert so far, Head General. Considering our ambitions in Africa began with some unbelievable Italian roots, to be here within striking distance of the Suez Canal is extraordinary. Well done. But we're not there yet. Your first major obstacle is the British positions at El Alamein. But be warned. Rommel's patented desert flanking maneuvers will not work this time. Okay, so, anyways, the what I was... The and rough desert of Qatar depression protects the British left flank as completely as the sea protects their right. So your only option is to crash straight through their lines here. I must recommend a fierce artillery barrage to soften up enemy anti-tank positions here and here. With their guns silenced, your panzers should be able to successfully engage and overrun the enemy. After that, a long stretch of desert is all between you and Cairo. Uh, take care not to be ambushed by British patrols. I should warn you, the Cairo itself could prove quite a challenging obstacle. The British will surely not suffer ejection from the African continent lightly, so be prepared for some major urban combat as you clear the Allies out of their strongholds within the city. At this point, all that remains is to take control of the canal itself. Be sure not to falter on this final step of our long desert journey across Africa. So anyways, I was just trying to say that we're all in the same <coughs> room together. And we're, the three of us are all playing completely different games. And they're all we're all chatting into our microphone. Me to this video and them to their friends they're playing with online. So it's a little crazy. You probably hear a lot of chatter in the background. One of my boys got fed up and just left. <laughs> so uh, anyways, um, this looks challenging. Ooh, unit slot cost is reduced to zero. That's huge. Well, I mean, in its own way. How do I see how many slots each unit takes. Is there an easy way? I know it's somewhere. Can't I heal? Oh, because he is healed. I re 
reduced him. So let's heal everybody. Okay, um, so how do I see how many slots my units are taking? Is there an easy way? Oh, maybe the unit stats channel. There it is. Alright, so this one's taking two slots. Four. Six. See, I'm taking six slots because... I have him uh, uh, over strength. That one's taking eight because it's my pioneer. Four, three, three. That one's taking five, four, three, 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 and three. So this pioneer unit up here is taking up eight slots. Watch this nonsense. Holy buckets. I'm gonna go here, assign that hero, and boom. He's taking nothing. Absolutely nothing. That's crazy. We just dropped to 82. Alright, let's hit the upgrade, see what's new anything new for the infantry, which is fine. We could do some overstrength. How about the tanks? Of course there's going to be a new tank. We have the 3N, which you'll notice is actually... It costs less, so I would actually get 10 bucks back. It takes two less slots. That's the reason why the 3N is actually valuable, but he's not quite as good against tanks. And I'm... Not real thrilled about that, so we'll just leave it be. We got plenty of core slots. Let's look at our recon. There's no options there. <clears throat> so we're at the Martyr 2. And look, there's already... This one costs 10. Gives us some extra fuel, maybe a little bit extra initiative, but beyond... Oh, and then an extra movement. Then there's the 7.5 meter pack 40. And then the Martyr 3. So that one gives us extra fuel and one extra movement point. But this one is tougher ground defense. Yeah, we'll do it. Probably, finally get the Mars. <laughs> I always talk about it. It costs 80 plus a core slot. I have the core slots now. Yeah, let's do it. I do have a Stug 3 possibility, but I like what I got. 88 are still going to be what they are. What about our fighters? We still don't have the FW-190s yet. Interesting. Yep. So we're fully upgraded there. How about our dive bombers? Nothing new. And our strategic? Nothing new. Okay. That was probably the long way of looking everything up, but... <clears throat> I now have a boatload of slots. Um, so that means I could buy more units if I wanted to. Um, looks like I got the Italian Navy helping me, which helps. <coughs> the 
thing that looks tough about this is I think I could punch through to Alexandria just fine. Cairo is super stacked, and then you gotta keep going even after that. <coughs> Sorry. So one of my options is to overstrength, which would then take up all those core slots. Um, I still don't have paratroopers, but for example, I can put him back up to full overstrength, which adds two slots, you know, like so. Uh, we could try to do that with like our anti-tank or our artillery. Right? So that way, whenever we hit them, we're going to punch them super hard. Um, what's interesting is, like, this artillery takes six slots. And remember, we gave that hero to the pioneer that took up eight slots. If I did this, look at that. That's going to take 12 slots. And cost 249. Jeez Louise. All right, so um, that means, though, that I'm going to go to the heroes and assign Oh come on. Alright, I gotta reduce his strength. Then assign the hero to him. All right, so we're going to put the zero slots on our artillery guy. Then we're going to overstrength him up to 12 slots. And look at that. I'm at 87 still. That is so amazing. I mean, we could try to, like, overstrength our anti-tank. I mean, I don't know... We overstrength the bomber. We can get him up to 15 health. This is the one with the hero that does all the damage. We can put him up to 15. I don't know, there's a part of me that's like okay with having these extra slots because I think. As we upgrade our tanks and stuff later, those are going to take extra slots. We can always reduce our overstrength if we wanted. Um, maybe we should overstrength our 88 since we love them so much. Yeah, let's do that. Overstrength both of those. And we're at 93 out of 95. I'm okay with that. Let's. Let's start deploying. So what we see is obviously there's this anti-tank right here. Artillery, of course, makes it hard to attack it. This is going to be a little better. You can see he has 11 and 9 versus soft and hard. So he's just going to generally be tough. And of course he has 5 out of 10 entrenchment. And then we're not going to be able to hit him with our air units. Um, so that's our situation. Let's get our anti-air in place. And I think... Let's get our artillery down. Because like they said, we want to pound them with artillery. So our strategic bombers, we might need them to help out with the Navy. And the Foschermjäger still And 
this is Mr. No Counter Attack. Yeah, we're gonna get our infantry there and put him down here. Get some tanks down. Some recon. <coughs> Alright, well we got plenty of units. 15 minutes going through that, but that's okay. Mo a lot of the fun of this game, if you do like this game, is this planning and the uh, the amount of time you spend just looking at your units and figuring out what your options are. Um, I think what gives me the most analysis paralysis with Panzer Corps 2 is that whole overstrength versus core slots thing. Because, uh, in the older versions, um, your core slots was one per unit, period. And then after you got gained stars, so see how I have two stars here and almost a third? Since I have two stars, I would have been able to overstrength my unit by two. It did cost prestige to increase the overstrength, but then, you know, he would have a strength of 12 instead of 10. And that was just natural part of being an elite unit. Um, this creates a lot more choices, which most of the time I applaud more choices, but I don't like this particular one. <laughs> um, I think uh, if I check that box that says no overstrength, then I might be better shape. I'm still mulling over picking that option where I can't get any more artillery than what I start the game with. And then um, I can't get any more planes than I start the game with. So I'd have two fighters one tactical bomber, one strategic bomber, but that's only true if you do um, Warsaw South. If you do Warsaw North, I think, I don't think you get a plane. You get one less plane. So be careful if you do that. But I do have a third fighter, I admit that, and extra bombers. But I think if I played this like on a hardcore kind of mode, um, I could just overstrength them and then basically just have super powerful planes. I, I, I think you can do it. Alright, let's get back to the game. Hit. End deployment. My dog is going nuts. Yep. Alright, Corona Charlie, let's see what you can do. First thing, always right click. Alright, so some more units revealed here. And I'm willing to bet there's a artillery right there. There always is. Um, so I could try to suppress that, or I could try to suppress behind him. The going behind him part, of course, is just taking out the uh, artillery. And then my Pioneer unit is here. You can see that one damage? That's because of the artillery. And that 07 is going to change as soon as this artillery gets revealed there. But I can take out six. Just, I'll lose one myself, but I can really do a number on him. to skin this cat. And what is that? That is a submarine. And we have here a capital ship, a 74th Admiral. A, these are both capital ships. And then there's a destroyer. Here we have destroyer. Some capital ships. Oh, I like that. Being able to bombard. Actually, 
quite nice. Now these, I can make it all the way over and really wreck some of their ships. Um, that one... What is that? That's another destroyer. Why not, right? I just did six damage to a capital ship there. damage to a destroyer and then the only price Ooh. send out that fighter to protect them okay <clears throat> so back to this I'm gonna try to suppress that artillery in the back look I just suppressed six because that's a Mars baby Oof, that is so powerful. I just pressed six more. That was powerful too. So this number changed, so instead of one dying, <coughs> I would be suppressed twice. Let's try this one. Schumacher was able to bust through, and then, yeah, I'm going to come in. <coughs> oh, that was my pioneer. Oh, come on. I wanted to use him on something else. It's just a... Oh, man. Yep, there's the uh, artillery, as predicted, but... Actually got ourselves some nice outcomes here. So that's the recon. I'm gonna bring him back. Push him forward. Look at that. We just took out this was almost textbook. See what our tanks can do now. Five. That anti air is still going to be a problem. Move up our artillery. Yeah, so the issue I have now is I just don't have room to come in with anybody else. So we're going to make sure our anti-air is covering our units. And yeah, our tanks can't do anything. So at least move up as much as we can. Sure, I can hit some stuff, but I don't want to deal with their... But you know what? I could hit a boat if there was one. Yeah, I'm going to move my fighter up just to protect my bombers. And maybe another fighter up here to just double protect our bombers over there. So yeah, I have made a good thrust, but i got to end the turn here. Those were boats moving really fast. For some reason they saw me. I don't know how. saw me. That blows. They did so much damage to my sub. Oh. I was... I wasn't... Oh, come on.
Do I really want to start over? All because of that submarine. He's sub he's not submerged. That's the problem. I can't undo him. Because he was the first guy I moved. Dang it. Fine. So he submerged, and he'll, with his three strength, live to fight another day. Capital ships to inflict as much carnage as possible. This should be our pioneer, so we don't need help with him. That's just dead. This guy will come forward and pick him up. Boom. Now that one does need help, so here's where we use artillery. Soften him up. So I'm basically just using my tanks to punch them backwards. And then my recon should be able to damage him. And it did. And yeah, of course, there's more stuff. That's where these planes come in handy. I have these Martyr 3s, I just gained a star, something better. Not quite enough movement points with him. Oh, that's way too close, that was stupid. Dumb move. Might as well. protect him a little by getting the tank up there. And there we go. I was able to protect him. Just barely. Let's get him moved up. What is that? That's a recon. So if I move there, the recon's gonna get me. So I'll at least keep my anti-air up there.
so they did a number on our one bomber here. I'm going to go ahead and replace him. I could keep... Yeah, why not? Cover up the needs as much as possible. I think that just took out a capital ship. And then, of course, the fighter to protect him. these guys go. Looks like all they did heal last turn. That's okay, we can just keep bombing them. And go down and protect them. Bomb him. Alright, so our air units got some exercises. This is our capital ships. So you can see there, that 74th Admiral is a pretty powerful one. We can take him out. Yeah, that 74th Admiral. This is where um, <coughs> losing my submarine like I did. I mean, I know I didn't lose it completely, but he needed to be full strength. If he was full strength, he would have done more than two damage here. So being able to hit that Admiral is big. And then the 76th County is another one. Yeah, see that's just suicide going in after those. So I don't know what to do. I mean, obviously I can... My destroyers would just get bronco stomped. I need them for protection against subs. some of these choices. So yeah, these tanks are moving as far as they can. And we overran. <coughs> I'm going to assume that all this nonsense is empty. So then we're moving forward. to heart attack. Kind of like that. So what do we got here? We got no heroes yet. But we got the steamroller and heart attack. We could get survivor. And in order to do that, you have to survive five attacks in one turn. damage to infantry to get the soft attack. Now, what I'm not certain of is it looked like there was only three slots for um, medals. So I'm not sure, like, can I only get three of these four? That's the part I'm wondering about. Let's see, I got some medals unlocked for some of these. Alright, we can look at those later. So 
I'll take it. And then we got a strong point there. My pioneers, wherever they are, they will be good against strong points, so let's move them up. The tanks, I'm going to assume that I'm just going to circumvent the city with the tanks. And that'll give me some anti-air. I don't know how far out they're going to come to attack. I'll go ahead and put my... put that down there. So I got... obviously I have units that can drive. And as you can see, I am driving Miss Daisy. Some of them can only walk. And so those are the ones that will go up towards that city and yeah. We're just charging basically as far as fast as we can. I can handle suppression. After my trucks. That hurts. Wow. Okay, so that was my infantry that he damaged. Air. So my no retaliation guys. So got one of the planes. So here's what's cool. I'm <coughs> relocating, and it just happens to put me right next to that bomber so I can attack him. <laughs> That's awesome. Alright, that's not as good. Look at that, I'm relocating and then I can bomb, but I don't want to do it yet. I relocate next to yeah, look at that. That was awesome. Got in two free attacks from that. Now unfortunately I don't think oh yeah I can. Or do I have enough movement? I do. We gotta rumble stomp this guy.
Okay, so this fort here, he's encircled right now. He has six ammo. I could get him out of ammo. trying to do is get up here so I can get that tank. I got some tanks way back here. So it's good that we hit him. to attack. Dang it. So I wanted to go get that anti-air one more time. I don't think I'm going to be able to. I do have railroad. There's no rail transport available. So that guy's still full strength, but I think this was, uh, sorry, I just shut off my monitor again. I have a cord that just barely works. Okay, there we go. Those two bombers are going to be attacked. One of these is my pioneer. Yep. So we're gonna move him in and go after the entrenched guys. And they should surrender. Oh, they didn't. And let's just kill him. Move him forward. Just charging forward. I'm going to do this attack just because I'm next to him. Yeah, we'll go up here. Yep, there's a tank. So I'm going to come up here with my anti tank and support everybody going to ruin his day. Done. My 
might as well come in and do an attack. Gosh, it was the, the navy that damaged me. Well, here, let's get my submarine in there. got one of them and we'll just let it be Alexandria, take that, and that's it. Where's my other anti-air? I know I just moved one to here. Oh my gosh, she's way down here. So I'm going to have to use my fighters. Let's go up and clean these guys up. Alright. Three damage, dang it. That was awesome. That was not. that, but I have these two guys. Jesus, these idiots are something. Submarine, even though he was down to three health, he's still pitching in. We got him. And we just got him to get rid of some of the ammo. See, he's down to just one ammo. There him in because I want to see these I need to spot those this is the pioneer I have a 
a feeling I'm going to send the Pioneer that way. Straight across to Port Said. Let's get my infantry that can move to move. infantry that can still walk. <coughs> we'll let them walk. Let's get the artillery as far up as possible. And yeah, I have nobody to attack at the moment. So I can just go forward. submarine. Just like I thought. Or no, that's a carrier. The illustrious. Crazier if things are undefended. <clears throat> Alright, well, we got some good progress. Boy, they picked the perfect time to release this game. Coronavirus and all that stuff going on. It's just a hoot playing this game right now. Well, I am quite sure I'm going to be attacked. But I might as well. Just took away four of his ammo. Jesus. And let's relocate him. Nothing I can do with that guy. Alright, I have a feeling I'm going to get attacked a little, but let's see what happens. Yep, definitely attack there. Again. Sorry because I'm crunching. Okay, I paid a big price there. This is going to cost me 352. So many dang planes. I do have that anti air, or anti air stuff here, but it's not close enough. so many fighters that are going to attack me.
Got him. Carrier's down. I don't know what to do here. There's just so much going on. This is an anti-tank, of course. So we can come in and damage him. is in place. These guys need to walk. Oh, that is just brutal. Run away, Sir Robin. not so why is that going to cause so much damage for me who's protecting him there must be somebody there there's definitely that guy See that zone right there. I could come in and attack, but I'm going to get slaughtered. Yeah, I would get slaughtered. I can attack with this one. It's gotta be because he's entrenched. That's gotta be the reason. Regular infantry. Pioneers. And I think I want to move these guys further south. This one's safe near my anti-air. Same with this one. I don't expect to make a huge dent this round. Look at all those planes, Jesus. Gotta go back. Alright, I'm at an hour. I'm gonna go ahead and hit end.